car in its current guise is going to absolutely smash this record. This is your world record attempt. Best of luck. Breaking boundaries, pushing the envelope, accelerating change. This is the goal of Formula E, and the Gen Beta program is spearheading its evolution. A racing car must be reliable, but what happens when you remove its limitations and push the hardware to the very limit? Gen Beta was designed to answer that question. The project was started with the aim of accelerating development of the Formula E car, and an ambitious target was set to showcase its potential. Break the indoor land speed record. With expertise from a who's who of innovators, Gen Beta has the underpinnings of the Formula E Gen 3 car turned all the way up to 11. Sabic have designed a new front wing using advanced and sustainable 3D printing manufacturing processes to decrease weight, strengthen and simplify the design. For the past year, Sabic has been working with Formula E, exploring new ways that we could use our materials and our solutions to make a more efficient and faster car. Championship tyre supplier Hankook have provided a unique experimental softer tyre compound and the front powertrain on the car has been unlocked to provide four-wheel drive. Combined with uprating the battery output by 50 kilowatts, the Gen Beta is experimental technology on the edge. What we are testing, it's basically simulating um, more or less the same or as, as close as possible or what we'll get in, in, uh, in London Excel. We start here, yeah, so yeah. this is, this is the, the, the last corner. Yeah. yeah. The two cones, the last, you know, the, these last two cones, that's your start point. Yeah, the start point. Okay. So we can, we can simulate the corner and the, st the standing start. Mate, any chance you can get over here with a front and rear jack? Uh, maybe bring a tool for taking the bodywork off, mate. We've got some problems over here. Should I try to bring it to the garage? Yeah, we'll go to the garage. I'll try to bring it as far as I can. Okay. Okay, back to the garage. Yeah, it's not the first time that we've had some some issues um, when when testing. Uh, unfortunately, it's all part and parcel of, uh, of of trying to get these things absolutely spot on. So we've had some issues today. Um, we're going to be working through the night, hopefully not too late, and um, get this ready and, and go out for tomorrow morning. Yes. <laughs> hey, mate. We're just running the car at Donington at the moment. Yeah. Um, it is now. Everything's running okay this morning, so tested the timing time and equipment and 400 kilowatts of power and everything's going okay. Onwards and upwards, mate. Come on, mate, come on. <laughs> I 
Can you, can you feel the difference? Yes, I can. Yeah, yeah. it's a big difference. Big, big difference. difference yeah. Fantastic. It's been a challenge to get this far, but the car in its current guise is, is going to absolutely smash this record to pieces. What's super fantastic about Gen Beta is not only it's a fantastic looking car, but also the data that comes off the car is actually really insightful, not only for motorsport, but actually for the way that you operate in life. One of the things we've realized is you want to have the interface into the data in a conversational style rather than just through the numbers that you get off the car. So we can have a conversation with Gen Beta. The maximum G-force was 2.564. This is only the start. We started this really only a couple of weeks ago when we actually started writing the first line of code. And using the new generative AI and Vertex from Google Cloud, we've been able to get fast development and faster insights. So this is just the start of the journey. Just have a little bit of a chat about what goes on this afternoon, how it's going to work, how many shots you get at it, and, uh, and what we need to do for, on the safety side. Okay, so we've said you get three practice runs each. Yep, so you can get up to speed with where we're gonna go and how we're gonna do it. We'll do a, a little bit of a track walk in a minute. And then Jordan's gonna talk you through about the abort procedure. If something happens, if you're not happy with the car, if something goes wrong, then we'll talk you through that and what to do. And uh, they, they measure the speed with what, with the lines on the floor? How does it Yeah, no, we, so we got some timing beacons, which we tried up at, um, up at Donington. And then there's uh, a nice little scoreboard down the bottom. Does it update when we cross? Yeah. <laughs> After each practice run as well? Yeah. Oh, nice. Are you guys familiar with the new tyre compounds in the car as well? We develop a special tyre according to the guidelines for this uh, project in order to break the record. The biggest challenge was to have this, the grip right away. After a couple of meters, the grip level must be there. So therefore, we need a different tire compared to the tire which we use in the Formula E World Championship. This was the target, and we tried to do our best. Okay. So the red boards are your breaking point. So there's literally no point pushing it past the red boards, is that what you're saying? No, no, no past, point. Past this unit here. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay. Jake is first for his runs, and then you're second for your runs. So you get three practice runs and your one attempt which is that we're going to do the Guinness World Record attempt, this is the one we do, and then come down, switch drivers, then you get your attempts. And then the fastest attempt out of those two is the world record. Oh, ah, another thing, he's, he's 10 kilos lighter than me, I need ballast on his car. <laughs> true, true story. Really? 80. Put Bruno together with him in the car. <laughs> I'm, heavy, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm heavier, I'm the carries carry more mass. Do you think you guys have enough room to break? Well, Hopefully. depends, yeah. Depends how good the brakes are. This thing is great. We need to have this next year. Fingers crossed, mate, fingers crossed. How'd you find the tyres? Well, I mean, they're just a different level. Can you really notice the power difference? It's the power difference, but it's like, it's more that the, you can pull it down with the tyre. So that's, what, that's what's more impressive, is just that there's hardly any more speed. Yeah, we've been working quite hard on that. Okay, Jake, away you go. Good luck. Oh, I could do better than that. Was that better than the first one? Yeah, it was better than the first one, but one KPH better anyway. I think I can get 217 out of it. Sorry, track is hot, track is hot. Okay, Jake, final practice run, good luck. Oh, 
what we got, what we got? Uh, 217. It's got 218, 219 in it, I think. Jake, this is your world record attempt. Best of luck. Jake, this is to confirm that you hit 218.71. Congratulations, mate. 218.71. Mega, mega. New world record for the moment, right? Until Lucas tries to beat it, right? <laughs> That's correct, mate. At the moment, you are the world record holder. Well done, mate. Nice one. Well Good job. Can we have that this weekend, then? Yeah, let's send it. <laughs> yeah. We'll just sticker it up quickly. I just said to... This is Tivo, my performance did today. I said, I'm going to complain about traction from now. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Ready to check, one, two, three. Perfect. So when uh, when we got the green light, this will be your first warm up attempt. Lucas, second run, good luck. What, what, what's the speed I need to beat? <laughs> what have we done? 217.9 now. Record attempt, good luck. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Nice one, mate. Well done, mate. Well done. Well done. Well done. How was that, Lucas? 17.6. Good effort, mate. Well done. Thanks for all your help. The record to beat was 165.2 kilometers per hour. And I can now confirm that Jake Hughes managed a total speed of 218.71 kilometers per hour. And it therefore gives me great pleasure to officially recognize a new Guinness World Records title. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rick. Honestly, when I was driving down here tonight, I didn't quite realize um, how much it would mean. And I think, yeah, going up against Lucas was obviously a bit of a, a second element to it. And uh, yeah, when I saw him doing the, his, his runs, I really felt like I actually really wanted it. So. I was buzzing, honestly, to be told afterwards. I, I have the record. It's um, something I'll cherish forever, I think. Well, uh, tonight we've done um, specific changes to the car, uh, just to show the full potential of the Formula E Gen 3 car and just have a showcase, a demonstration of what the future of the Formula E will be in terms of uh, power and technological innovations. There's lots of things that are in the pipeline to move this car along through its four years of generation. It's in the, in the dreams of the designers, the people that we've got around us, of how far we can push these limits.